Welcome to my cool and games and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This episode we're going to be doing another side quest. This one is in Saint Denis. And we got to go speak with, I'm not actually sure, so let's get inside this mansion here. I don't believe we've recorded this mission yet. You know, in the previous playthrough, because this is technically a different save game because it's on the PC. The original playlist was on the Xbox One. Okay, the door is locked. Okay, then I thought we were going to go inside. I guess we'll go around. Okay, that's really bright. What the? Okay, those are some super bright lights. Damn, okay. It's a really nice town, though, I got to say. I really do want to get that RDR FR installed, but it's still super early access, and it just seems to be really, really buggy. So I don't know if it'll be really good for a video just because of how every 10 seconds it crashes, from what I've heard. Uh, hopefully it'll be updated soon and more callouts and things will be installed or, uh, you know, posted. All right, let's see what we got to do. Idealism and pragmatism for beginners yes? one. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Right. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. I don't know. I'm pretty Mr. sure Lemieux? we may have actually done this. I'm not sure. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgo. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? Uh, no. No. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But... Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. Mm. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm mm. sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place mm. of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. Items, art. And how okay. do you buy art? I don't know. Money? I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Oh. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Okay. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. Oh. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. I understand. He's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, uh. to meet a little Oops. Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, they definitely know who we are. Yeah, if you didn't see it, go to my playlist. And it's, it's probably like four or five episodes down in the playlist. Oh, so it was when we uh, had a huge shootout in Saint Denis and mob professor. boss. Basically, so we, we offed him. Okay, so we got to go to the guy before he leaves. You know. <clears throat> I, I gotta say, this game looks so freaking beautiful on the PC. I mean, it looked really good on the Xbox, but just like overall, like the Xbox had like a film grain that was just kind of artificial looking. But this game, look how beautiful the visuals are. I mean, like, really. Now, I am playing 4K, uh, recording at 1080p, though. Just so my, you know, old CPU doesn't have a heart attack. You know, let's try and go around traffic here. Come on. This is the mayor's personal assistant, so you know we're we're allowed to do this. We're good. Okay, how far do we need to go? Is this guy at the hotel. Oh 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 oh! Slow down, slow down. Okay, so we're going to the gallery. Gotcha. Whoa whoa whoa! Come on, girl, come on. No. 
Yeah. What's his name again? Let's go break his knees. What? Professor Shitfaker? What? Okay. Uh, follow the professor until he reaches his scheduled area. Secluded area. Gotcha. Okay. Buenos dias, señor. Yes, howdy, sir. Howdy. Moving. There he goes. He's following, make sure he doesn't notice us. Let's keep moving up. Hopefully, this guy doesn't know we're onto him. Okay, approach Professor Shiftcaker. Sure, interesting name. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Oh. Hello. The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. Oof. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's going to take a fist in your face Ooh. to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. Come on, let's go. Punch you to change your mind. I couldn't. My reputation. You got to figure your reputation when your brain is jelly. I'd never be published again. Come on. You want you want me to hit you? Okay. Bah. Well, you going you going to talk? I relent. Okay. All right, there we go. Sweet professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken note. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing mm. is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, professor. Please mm. do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, because otherwise... I'll be in New Haven. No, Ooh. no, we don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. <sighs> Gotta love it. <clears throat> Frauds all over the place. Uh, return to Jean Marc. All right, let's go return to this guy. Uh, okay, where's my horse at? That's right. We took this uh, carriage. Ah, here we go. So, turns out, all those paintings were real after oh, all. Oh, really? They were real so after all? Oh, man. Wonderful. Great. I'd be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Schiftecker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. Mm. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's mm. open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Gotta be worth my time. Looks like it was a decent amount. Let's see, how much did we get paid? Fifteen dollars, not too bad. I was hoping for a little more, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, let's see now. So that was one side mission, and we may have to wait a little time before we can do another one. So I will see you guys in a little bit, I guess, to continue this side quest. Okay, guys, so I just waited like three days, which took about a half hour in real life. And uh, apparently all I had to do was go down to the post office in San Denis and pick up a letter from the mayor. Uh, so now it looks like we should be able to do the mission. Let's see, we might have to open the satchel and use it. All right, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Okay, and looks good. All right, so it looks like we just need to come back now. Dang it, I seriously just wasted a half hour running around the city, getting a haircut, buying some new clothes, going to the hotel two or three times, you know, sleeping for the night. Oh, uh, what the heck? Hold on. Who's in trouble? Hello, Mike. What's going on? Get, get out of here. That's right. Sir, are you all right? I owe you my life. Here, it's the least I can do. Please. Oh, thank you. Well, 
Thanks, Mitch. Thank you very much, sir. Be careful now. What? I can't even tell what that was. Thirteen dollars. Nice. All right, be safe, man. All right, let's go find Moonlight. Looks like she ran off down this way. And let's continue with this uh, main quest. Oh, yeah, so that... Or side quest, technically. I gotta say, it's really awesome with all these random encounters. Like, when I was waiting... Where'd the waypoint go? Are you serious right now? No, it's still here. Okay, that was... That was it. Uh, so I was running around the city, and you know, there's a lot of random events that happen. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, one of them, you know, I was going down one of the blocks, and then I get jumped by some kids. They actually pull guns on me, and I had to defend myself. Took down a few of them. A few of them ran off. It was pretty crazy. Didn't think I would need to record that. Sure, if you guys have played the game or have watched other videos on Red Dead, you've probably seen it already. But if you are new to the channel, be sure you hit the like button. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting the little bell icon on the channel. That really does help me out when you do that. Let me know what you think in the comments below as well. Let's get over here and speak with them. Do we seriously need to go to the back door again? Like, really? Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna, just gonna run for it. Let's go to the back door. Come on, like, really? Can't just let me in the front door, dude? Freaking beautiful mansion, though. We did have a party here. It was a great episode, I think. That one was, again, a long time ago, but if you go to the Red Dead Redemption 2 playlist, you can check it out. It's only a few episodes back on the playlist. Hello, knock, knock, knock. Hey, Penny. Hey, Penny. Hey, Penny. Hey, Penny. Okay, idealism and oh, pragmatism for beginners, too. Got your letter a few days late. Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Sure. Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of a dirty-minded pragmatist like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. Right. <laughs> but yeah. the rich... Don't see that happen. ...be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him... To make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. Oh. And he's... He's leaving town on a coach. Heading to his country estate because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, <laughs> he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Ooh. Thank you, Got Mr. Him. Arthur. Let's go make sure he pays up. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. Ooh, a red coach, just like my clear. uniform I got on. Prove of this behavior. My beautiful tuxedo. It's not quite a tuxedo, but still, it is a pretty dapper-looking outfit, I must say. A little dark right now. Uh, so, let's see. Go to the saint -Denis exit near the bayou. Okay, I'm going to need to get my horse, so let's go back around here and grab my horse. Now, the mayor's house is actually right on the border of the edge of the town, so all we got to do is go down this road a bit. And we should be going the right direction. All right, come on, Moonlight, let's go. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we should be able to just get down this way, and then I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I assume we're going to chase after this guy and his coach. Oh boy, did not expect to be going through the back of his mansion. We're good. And seriously, though, this game looks so beautiful. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. Please hit the like button if you do enjoy it. All right, let's see. Where's this guy at? Bum, ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. Seriously, that looks so freaking beautiful. Damn. Okay. Wait for the red stage coach. Okay. Easy now. Um, I'm going to jump onto it. What am I going to have to do? Get a train going by. That looks pretty sick. 
Okay, where is this thing at? Oh, here we go. Board the stagecoach. Okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. Got four horses on that stagecoach? That's a pretty fancy one. I'm not even going to call out to him. Let's just go this way. And... Okay, can I not just jump? It should let me jump. Stop the coach! Who the heck are you? Hold it right there. You get Hold it right there, passage. buddy. Okay. I need to get inside. Right. Apparently, I wasn't gonna hijack it. What the hell do you want, Mr. Fellows? Ain't it? Charity, sir, and an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to Where did my bullets go in my bandolier? That's what I want to know. By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? The mayor is a crook. <laughs> Me too. Ooh. I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. Okay, um, let's grab him, and here we go. Ooh. Don't let him fall under that wagon wheel. Oh, whoa, oh, my horse is there, what? Okay, let him slip a little further then. Come on, buddy. Come on, speak up. Okay, you're gonna fall out if you don't start speaking. Right, all right. All right, come on, come on, come back in, come back in. There you go, nice and sound. You see, that wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive, and certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the <laughs> mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver, hold up. All right, now you be safe out there, sir. As you work. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't hit my horse! Don't hit my horse! All right. Whew. Return to the mayor's house after dark. Yeah. Really, it's it just turned to daylight now. Okay, boys. I'll see ya once it gets a little darker out. I really do hope you guys are enjoying the episode. By the way, please hit the like button if you do enjoy it, and maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting the little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up. Alrighty then, boys. We are at the saloon in Sandity, and we're just going upstairs to our room to rest for the night. That way we can uh, basically, you know, get some good rest. This is the most Arthur has rested in, like, ever. Literally, like, four nights in a row just sleeping in a nice hotel bed. Seriously, the most relaxation he has had in a long time. That was a beautiful rest. <laughs> right, all right, let's get a move on. Gotta go speak with the mayor. All right, all right, maybe I should try to do the rest of the series in this voice. I I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey, miss, how's it going there? Howdy, handsome. Howdy. Looks like it could be a busy night. Oh, hmm. it could be a very busy night. You take care. Okay, be seeing you. Alrighty then. So, uh, we need to premium. Yes, very premium. <laughs> yeah, don't do that in real life. Not good for you. How do you do? All right, so let's get on to moonlight and let's get over to the mayor before it becomes daytime again. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, mayor's house is not too far. Freaking stagecoach, move out of the way. All right, all right, all right, let's get a move on, shall we? Mayor's house is right down here. I better get some good money. I definitely want to get paid for this one. That was, that was some hard work we had to do back there. All right, come on, let's go. Seriously, San Denis is such a beautiful location. All right, we're coming up on the house right now. Oh, come on. We gotta go through the back door again. That is just ridiculous. Why can we not just go through the front door? Oh, okay. 
I thought I was definitely going to wipe there and go straight over the railing. Okay, let's go upstairs. Bidoo, bidoo, bidoo. All right. Oh, okay then. Did not mean to do that. Realism oh, pragmatism for beginners what's, what's three. Are you? Mm. Jean-Marc is a little histrionic. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll continue it then. This might be a little bit of a long episode, maybe like twenty-five minutes, thirty minutes. Vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh, right. Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me. And yes. It probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank, Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. Oh. What do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's also oh. scurrilous lies, of course. But what sort of news? Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Copy that. Let's go beat his ass. Thank you, Arthur. We're gonna have to feed this guy to an alligator too, because that might be pretty cool. Inspect document. Let's let's check that out really quick. Farm field and falconry. Okay, farming. Really? Okay. Beehives and everything. Really interesting. Highlights clue. Tracking animals. Okay. And is this a special book that we can actually get skills from? Farming, gathering bones. What? Okay. Recently deceased animals, bees. Great deal of this book was we spent discussing beekeeping. Okay, looks like we're good then. We'll put that away. So it's worth some money, so maybe I can sell it. Okay, let's so come up. Let's get around this light here, and let's get over to whatever the guy's name is, Jean-Luc Picard. Let's go get him. Ah, Moonlight, where you at, boy? Freaking, it's a girl. It, it, it's definitely a girl, not a boy. Ah, Moonlight, let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah! No, just, just, just stop. Just, just stop. Just stop. Come on! There we go. Play. Okay. So let's get over here. So let's go check it out. Oh, oh, that's copper. Seriously, guys, if you do enjoy the episode, please hit the like button. That really does help me out when you do that. And maybe share the video as well. Oh, what is he doing? This is him. Confront John Luke Picard. Opening his door. Yes, open the door. Why you want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? Hey. <laughs> Don't try to Best run. not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. Well, this is going to hurt, but it's for the best. <clears throat> okay, then. <sighs> let's get him. Now, am I going to get in trouble for carrying this guy without being seen? Are you freaking serious? Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. That's a copper. Definitely going to get spotted. Definitely going to get spotted. Yikes. Okay, was not expecting that. Can I just, like, put this guy on the back of my horse? Come on, boy. Let's get Moonlight over here. Come on, Moonlight. Damn it, come on, Moonlight. I need you over here now. I'm gonna get this guy put on the back of you and then get around to the uh, mayor's house. Oh, no. Oh, okay, cool. I was able to walk through there. Should be able to just go around, I think. Yeah, okay, here we go. We're good, we're good. Just gonna sneaky sneak around this way. Don't wanna fall in the water and drown him. That would, whoops, that would not be good. Ooh, although, give me a second here. Let me just throw him down in the mud here. Oh, I can't loot him. Come on, I wanted some good, good stuff from him. Shoot, there's 
cops walking around the corner. Okay, Moonlight, you are here now. Moonlight, stop. Moonlight, stop. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Stop moving. Let's get him put on. Let's get him put on the back of you. Okay, come on, girl. Let's go. Is that a copper? That's a freaking copper right there. Are you serious? I'm gonna have to ride along this way. Okay, I don't know if I can go under that. Uh, okay, we're good. Okay, go around to the back of the mansion here. Oh, here we go. Okay, that'll work. Okay. Beautiful. Get him dropped off at the front here. Quick, Mr. Arthur. Yes. Bring him around the back. Ooh. Bring him around the back, are you... Dude, really? You can't just bring him in the front door like if anybody sees us right now. They're gonna either way. I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Dude, definitely gonna kill this guy. He, he, he's just dead. Yep, he, he's just dead. Alright, so let's get down here. Come on. Okay. So what are we doing with him? Giving him some alligators? That's probably the best approach. You want, you want, you want to tell me what we're going to do with him? Follow me. Yep, okay, following, following him. Yep, yep, okay. Yeah, just his butt's in my face. That's no big deal. That's, that's fine. Okay. Here. Drop him? Okay. There we go. My no big brother, deal. My brother... Jean-Marc, oh, we've been so... Uh, I promised to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. Of course, of course. Bam! We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Mm. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. Mm. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You hey, you now, shame come me. On. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, this oh, isn't going to end well. The luxury to have principles such as you, but I must actually do things. I see now. You're you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. Yep. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. Mm. You're not really going right. to kill me, are you? Thought of mine. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth. You out of it. me, buddy. And yeah. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux's a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Let me live and I'll, I'll, I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. I'll let him live. Please, come on. Be honest. You want to show a sad little man, would you? Let him go. You might be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. I mean, technically, I am a paid killer, but I feel like this guy could do a lot more good by, you know, foiling the guy's plans. Well, alright guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting the little bell icon on the channel. That way you sound fine when the videos go up. Alright guys, take it easy.